One, two, three, fuck it. Creepy Cartoon Theories Part 1 Angelica from the Rugrats is the only one who can talk to the babies because they are a figment of her imagination. That's why Stu is always in his basement making toys for the son that he lost. Chucky died in a car crash, that's why his dad is always so nervous. And the twins were actually only one baby, but Angelica didn't know if it was a boy or a girl, so she invented both of them. SpongeBob is a result of nuclear testing. The nuclear testing was performed in the Bikini Atoll in the late 1940s, and the result of that test was the Bikini Bottom. Like how many times have you seen this explosion in the show? Creepy Lost Cartoon Episodes Part 2 Squidward's Suicide The episode starts with Squidward sitting on his bed with creepy music playing in the background. Then you get flashes of the children, and when it cuts back to Squidward his face is black with red eyes, and then a strange voice tells him to shoot himself with a gun. He does exactly that, he dies and the video ends. Even the police investigated but they couldn't find who made the video. Creepy Lost Cartoon Episodes Part 3 Tom's Basement Something seemed different with the start of the episode this time. Tom's owner was really physically abusive. He was stabbing on his tail and telling him never to go down the basement. And at some point Jerry pushes Tom down to the basement. When the owner sees him he starts yelling at him with rage. Then Jerry takes pity on Tom and goes and stabs the owner repeatedly with a knife on his leg. And then they carry the body inside the basement. And the basement is full of dead bodies showing signs of violent death. And then an evil look covers Jerry's face. He stabs Tom and throws him in the pile of bodies. Then the episode ends with Jerry putting a for sale sign outside the house and laughing manically. There is a creepy lost episode of Barney that a father swears he caught his kids watching. One day he was looking at the TV guide when he saw that it said a lost episode of Barney was going to air at 7 p.m. He asked his kids if they wanted to watch and they said yes. They all sat down to watch it and the theme song started playing but something wasn't right about it. It almost sounded like the song was being whispered. The episode started as it usually did, the kids holding the Barney doll that suddenly comes to life. But when Barney started talking he sounded slightly weird. It sounded like two people People were talking at once, his normal voice and one that sounded darker and scarier. And suddenly he said, Hi kids, today I'm gonna talk to you about death. So one of the kids asked him, Barney, what's death? He then chuckled and said, This is. With his face suddenly turning angry, his teeth growing long, and then he eats the child. And then he proceeds to chase all the other children around trying to eat them throughout the rest of the episode. And then at the very end of the episode, he sang the I love you song as if nothing happened, so. love. The Simpsons Lost Episode, Bart's Dead. The episode comes to us at season one. After leaving for school late, this results in Bart Simpson being late for a plane ride and has to catch another one. Apparently the plane was having some engine trouble and it crashes killing everybody on board, even our beloved Bart Simpson. Throughout the majority of the episode, it's all about mourning from the family over the loss of Bart until a flashback shows Bart inside of a coffin Going to a cemetery, inside of this cemetery where Bart is laid to rest, there are headstones depicting celebrities. One noted celebrity was Michael Jackson from season three and predicted his death on point. Apparently there was a man who found a very disturbing and creepy lost episode of the Teletubbies and it was known as the playground, which he rented from a DVD store. When the man brought the DVD up to the counter so he could rent it, the clerk's eyes got big and said, are you sure you want to rent this? It was claimed to be cursed. The man said, absolutely, what could be cursed and horrifying about a Teletubby episode? So he went through with the rent and as soon as he got home, he slapped the disc in the DVD player. As soon as the episode started, it skipped past the BBC logo and where the speaker usually says time for Teletubbies, he said something completely different. Like life isn't about anything, it's about consequences. Although the man thought this was weird for a kid's show, he kept watching. The episode started with Tinky Winky sitting at a table crying by himself and out the back window of the Teletubbies house you can see two children practicing seppuku which is basically taking the guts and entrails out of somebody and playing with them. TV then glitched and cut to a scene where all the Teletubbies were hanging from gallows by their necks and seeping out blood. There's more so stay tuned for part 2. This is part 2 of the cursed Teletubbies episode known as the playground. 
While the Teletubbies were all bleeding out, hanging there from the gallows, you could see blood and organs scattered all across Teletubby land, and the speaker in the background was repeatedly saying, life is meaningless, and the truth is, you're all going to die a horrifying death. But little did they know that them hanging by their necks from the gallows wouldn't be the cause of their death, but rather a nuclear bomb that would end up hitting Teletubby land and causing the sun baby in the sky to start bleeding from his eyes and begin crying. So in the background of the Teletubbies already hanging from their necks from the gallows, you see their home catch on fire, a nuclear bomb going off and even the baby in the sky along with bleeding from its eyes and face is now vomiting across Teletubby land. The show then glitched, ended abruptly, and skipped straight to the credits, and rather than showing the Ragdoll Productions logo that is usually shown at the end of Teletubby episodes, it showed a bunch of random Russian and Ukrainian writing that the viewer had never seen before. The episode then received 237 complaints and was taken off the air. Cartoon Conspiracies That Will Ruin Your Childhood, Part 1. One of the most influential cartoons ever, Scooby-Doo, has a deep, dark secret. The reason that the gang has never aged over the years is because they're actually not even alive. They're freelancing spirits wandering from town to town in order to expose fake ghosts to maybe one day rest their own soul. And there's a reason that all the fish under the sea can talk and move around. It's believed that the town of Bikini Bottom is below the island of Bikini Atoll, an island that the U.S. bombed 23 times during the Cold War to test nuclear weapons. All that radio fallout went into the ocean and created the characters that we know and love today. This is the lost episode of Winnie the Pooh known as Making Friends the Easy Way. This episode begins with Winnie waking up out of his sleep, and as he examines the room, he notices that his door is wide open. Scared and quite frankly, probably pretty confused, Winnie starts frantically asking questions like, Hello? Is anyone there? Can anyone hear me? As he's making his way out the door. When he got outside, Winnie began looking around and noticed that there was nobody in sight. No animals, no people, and Winnie felt like his friends just left him and neglected him. So when he gets angry thinking his friends left him and he drops to his knees and begins punching the ground saying, I don't deserve this, I need friends, I have to go find some friends. So when he begins walking through the woods looking for friends and he notices a little boy who waves at him. So Winnie the Pooh walks up to him and does this. When he walked up to the boy and said, friends forever, then instantly grew sharp teeth, opened his mouth very wide and ate the child alive. <laughs> 